Okay. Yep. Okay. Would you comment on the gov what the governor said? Look, I'm just as frustrated as the governor is at how long this is taking. Um, but at the end of the day, like he, I want this to be a thorough investigation. Um, he can fire his staff. I can fire my staff, but I'm elected by the people. But I want this to be ended as quickly as possible because I'm sure that when this is done, I'll be exonerated. You, you talked about the Pelican Resort. One of the things that, that people are most concerned about is the Pelican Resort and Mark Jensen. What happened there? Well, they, people just don't understand that that happened six months before I even joined the Attorney General's office. I was a private lawyer. I was there for legitimate business reasons. I was networking. Did Mark Jensen pay your expenses or part of your expenses? You know, I can't really, I really don't know what exactly he paid, but it really doesn't matter to me because simply, simply stated, I was a private attorney at the time. But I will say this, when I took my wife down there, my wife and I paid most of our own expenses. Did he pay some of your expenses? I believe he, he well, I, the place we stayed, I think, was paid for by, his, by him or his company, sure. Did you know he was a convicted felon? Well, well actually, at the time, I was a private lawyer did you know he was a convicted felon? I knew he had done a plea and deal with the state, but I met him as a base, in Little League Baseball. Did you know that the money he was spending on entertaining you was money he was supposed to be repaying his victims? You know, Rod, again, at the time I was a private lawyer in private practice. The source of those monies really didn't concern me at the time. It was months before I even joined the Attorney General's office. And that's really all I have to say about it. The legislature is talking about another, yet another investigation, uh, this one with an eye to whether you violated the public trust. You say you like and you, you welcome investigations. Do you welcome such a legislative investigation? You know, I respect, having served in the legislature, I respect them. I respect the, the pro process. We are already under a federal investigation, which I called for. And certainly, if they have anything else they want to look at, they are welcome to do that, and I trust their judgment about what they want to get involved in. I have nothing to hide and cannot wait until this is over, because we're working hard with our people. We're doing the work of the state. We're doing what I was elected to do, and I, I'm sure that our office can't wait until this is over. Do you have anything else you want to say? Well, I certainly want to say that um, I believe that a lot of the facts here are misunderstood. And uh, when you have 45 uh, stories on the front page of the paper, People really ask themselves questions, but when you look at the timeline, when you look at the fact that I wasn't even in the Attorney General's office at the time some of these things happened, people simmer down a lot and say, oh, I, I understand now. This is not as bad as it looks. Thank you. Do you want to say it on camera? I would love to. Okay. I don't want people to think for a minute that there aren't decisions that I've made that I wish I could redo. As, as a young chief deputy, not having had any experience in public law, I learned some lessons the hard way, and I've changed policies because of that, and I feel like I'm a changed person because of that. And so, again, moving down the road, we'll do things differently than we've done things in the past. And I wish I'd never had some of those meetings. Thanks a lot. Okay, I hope that helped. Sure. Thank you. Yeah, good to see you. We'll still try to get you.